Hello everybody, this is Christina Tomasic from Serenity Fibers. I am going to do the combo spin that I mentioned in my episode 1. And I'm just looking at everything, trying to see what I'm going to do, how I'm going to do it. But these are the fiber, I already laid out all the fiber that I need, um, or that I have already picked, which this one is the Angel Wings uh, Superwash Merino Cashmere Silk and Angelina. Then we have the uh, little roving here from Twin Mommy Creations. It has South American Corydale, Falkland, Cheryl I, Nylon, and Angelina from tw oh, going to, uh, Twin Mommy Creations. It's really cute. If you dream it, you can do it. Right? And the other fiber I have is from Branching Traditions. This one I believe was Targi and Angelina or Sparkle. And they are a farm that does, or a ranch that does Montana raised um, Targi and Rambouillet wool. I also have, which is in this corner, you probably can't see it, the Spunky Sheep Fiber Farm which is the Fairy Dream Cloud, Polworth, CVM, Firestar, and, and Geo. And that's this, that right here. All right. So basic, and then of course we have the full circle artworks, all the little bundles over here. I already split them up. The, these four bundles right here are the, um, Merino Romney and Gold Angelina and then the white one the row right underneath it is the Merino Romney and Rainbow Firestar and then these eight ones which is the natural brown and white is the brown Shetland Corydale and the Sari Silk alright so the first step I am going to do is basically split this up into basically roving. I'm going to split it up into strips. I'm also going to s split this one up into strips and put them in the order that I would like that I'm going to spin it. I'm also going to put these ones in between these two and then also what I'm going to do with this one I'm undecided on how I'm going to do it but I have two different ways, two different ideas anyway. Because they have strips, basically, you know, uh, ooh, you can't see, all green here. I have either two ideas, which I'm thinking of. Either split up the color sections, just split it right down the middle, or not the middle, but split up the, the colors and while I'm spinning everything else, every so often, just spin from each color in sequence. Doing the green, the peach, the blue, the yellow, and so on down. Or pull, you know, keep this as is, and then every so often throughout the spin, pull the colors from the top and work my way down, and then just over and over and over again. I'm, not sure how I'm going to do that. I might just end up s splitting the colors because it might be easier to maintain the colors and then pull the roving out and work it into the spin as I go. Not so sure about that. But uh, keep on watching. I'm basically telling you how I'm going to do it now. And then just let the video, let you watch the video and how I do it later. And then I'll probably get back to you at the end of the prep and show you what the yarn turned out to be. Alright? See you back in just a little.
everybody welcome back from the spin or from the prep just to let you know that um, I had made a mistake and apparently it was a little bit clicker happy and deleted some of my uh, some of the videos from the spin so most everything that I did was able to recover was just the prep but at least you got a sense of and, and the order that I spun everything in. Um, the only thing that, that from the prep that I was not able to recover was stripping the colors out of the Fairy Dream Cloud bat that had the stripes of color and I was debating if I wanted to um, strip the colors into little or to individual rovings or if I wanted to pull the colors out as I spun it. That was the only one that I did not recover. Uh, but I'm gonna explain how I spun it. But if you followed along with the video, I spun, or I, um, I split up the cashmere blend into 16 strips of roving. And then I, all, and then I took eight of those and then put them off to the side. And then the other eight, um, and then I split the Ranching Traditions uh, bat, which was Targi and Sparkle Angelina, into eight pieces of roving as well. And then I, I paired those ones up, so the one roving of the Cashmere, along with the one roving of the Ranching Traditions, the Targi Sparkle. And then, I also split up the Twin Mommy, which was the fiber that had the dramatic uh, pink and green in it. I split that one up into eight rovings as well. And I paired those up with the other set of eight cashmere rovings that I put off to the side. I also put with each individual bundle of the cashmere and one each of the twin mommy pink and green roving I put eight of the brown little bats that I got from full circle artworks plus uh, eight of those little white little bats that I got from the same uh, artist which was the full circle artworks and then after that I actually hand carded and blended all those fibers together in which you had the little tufts of fluff. I'm a new spinner. I've only been spinning for a year, so I'm not exactly sure what the term is. My kids have coined them uh, troll's hair, so I'll probably just go with that. They're little troll hair. And then I organized the spin so that I had the cashmere with the ranching traditions, the targi, and then all of the troll's hair, the blended fiber, that I had from the cashmere, the targi, the full circle artworks I blended together, and then back again to the cashmere, the targi, and then troll's hair. So that last little clip showed you how I spun it in order. So I did the cashmere, then the troll's hair, cashmere, troll's hair, and I did it four times. Yes. And then I continued spinning instead I wanted a two ply but instead of actually spinning on another bobbin I was just going to do a center pull ball so then after I did the first line I started with the trolls hair first then the cashmere and ranch and tradition the targi and sparkle and then just did it in reverse so that hopefully like fiber would match up with like fiber when I spun it together and I knew, mo you know, not all of it was because when I spun this, I wasn't trying to be consistent. I did, I didn't want big slubs out of the yarn, but I didn't want to be completely uh, consistent with the yarn. I wanted it to spin how it just felt like it should spin, and that's pretty much how it happened. I've never actually spun such a blend that had so many different types of fiber in it. I, I've, I've spun merino and bamboo blends up to maybe two to three different fibers in the blend before, but not with so many. Um, so it was a little bit of everything, and it was actually pretty fun and interesting 
you know, just going from fiber to fiber to fiber and spinning it and, and just noticing how it spins differently. It kept my interest because it was nice and cool to go and feel different kinds of fiber going through my hands while I'm spinning it and learning their char characteristics and then also how they play together, especially when I blended the troll's hair. So, um, this is what I got. Now, with the, 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 uh, the Spunky Sheep Fiber Farm, the, the bat that was called the Fairy Dream Cloud, I stripped that up into 10 different rovings, basically just segmenting those colors. And I concentrated on adding those in on the white portions, which was basically the, the little nests that I made with the cashmere blend and the targi and sparkle blend, the ranching tra traditions blend, blend. Because I knew those colors would really shine against the white instead of already shining against another semi with the trolls hair that had so many different colors in it um but this is what i got i haven't actually tried to see how many wraps per inch it is and what uh, weight or size the fiber or the yarn is i don't know it looks more like um an aaron worsted weight not quite a uh, bulky um but I got 434 yards and it's, I love it. It's beautiful. Let's see if we could get a close up. I love how it turned out. It is so soft and so squishy and it did exactly what I was hoping it would. The green and pink shone out just like I wanted it to. The nice pinks blushes came out as well Let's see if I could find now of course you know just like I was hoping for some of the cashmere and, tra and ranching traditions white fiber you know was plied on it back on itself like I was hoping and then of course some of it didn't so this was a strip where some of the fairy dream cloud from um the spunky sheep fiber farm this blush orange color was spun back onto the cashmere blend and you could really see it there but yeah i'm really happy with how this turned out I'm actually already thinking about what I want to knit with it. I'm thinking maybe a cowl, something nice, big, and bulky that goes over my shoulders and then just like bunches up around my neck. I don't know. That's what I think about when I'm <laughs> when I'm looking at it. But yeah, I am really happy how this turned out. And this is the end result. I'm actually surprised how much fiber I got out of this. Um, I mean, I, I was already pushing 68 ounces already because I had already one bat that was already four ounces of fiber, which was the cashmere, the cashmere blend. But I enjoyed the spin a lot. It was, it was fun to see how, when I was uh, first spinning it, how the colors were going and then also when I was plying it how the colors were interacting with each other it was it was fun and enjoyable I enjoyed the spin so but uh, well I am also starting to plan another spin for you guys something it's gonna be in theory it's going so far in theory how I'm planning it so far it's going to be kind of the same as this one with just different colors um because i lost so much video that i wasn't able to show you guys 
Um, I'm basically going to do it over again, and this time, hopefully, I won't be clicker happy and just delete some of my videos so that you can see. But, um, so I'm going to do it again. We're going to try this again and see how it goes. And I'm already planning colors and seeing, as you can see, what I want to add into everything, or what I want to add into the next spin. And, um... I will videotape and hopefully it'll be coming up in the next two to three weeks. Um, I'm really excited because, of course, as you know, my favorite color is green and I love purples and blues and those are the colors that you see on my desk. And uh, yeah, so I'm already planning something else. Stay tuned for the next spinning video that will be coming up. And thank you for watching. If you guys, if you have any questions, whatever, you can either comment below, you can email me at serenityfibers1 at gmail.com. If you have any um, tips, because also, as you know, I'm a very new spinner. If you have any tips about how I did things or whatever, you can email me, you can comment below. Um, it was my first time using the hand carters as well. I am been learning how to do that properly. So if you have any tips, I am up for any comments tips that you will give me. All right, well thank you and I'll see you next time.